Hi, I'm Henry Mortimer, Editor-at-Large for City Biz List. Today we're talking with Robert Lord, CEO and founder of ProTennis. Nick and I founded ProTennis when we were in medical school at Johns Hopkins, um, really to address a problem that we saw every day when we were on the wards working with patients with the electronic medical record. And that problem was insider threats to electronic medical records. So essentially, we rolled out tens or hundreds of billions of dollars worth of electronic health records uh, after ARRA and all of the incentives that were passed there. But one of the big problems is we did so without a lot of thought to how we would protect patient privacy and secure these medical records. And so what this resulted in is a big problem where suddenly millions of patient records are now exposed to anyone who has any access to the electronic medical record, whether that's community affiliates, nurses, doctors, staff, senior officials. And this creates a pretty big problem because those medical records contain the records of people's friends, family, VIPs who might come into the hospital, um, or just medical records in general that could be gathered in bulk. So what you unfortunately see since electronic medical records really rolling out is a huge problem with identity theft, prescription fraud, medical blackmail, and a variety of other problems that really result from the fact that all these medical records can be taken and reused for a variety of malicious purposes. So Nick and I met a little bit before medical school when we were on the trail to, uh, to medical school and we ultimately both were fortunate to go to Johns Hopkins. And so we, uh, we became good friends. We've known each other for about six years now and, uh, and really built the company together from that initial idea that we just thought we could, uh, we could provide hospitals with a much better standard and with patients with the privacy that they deserved. What Protenis does is it uses advanced analytics to detect and thwart HIPAA violations in real time. So what that really means is we understand in great detail what should be happening in electronic medical records. So when an individual goes outside the bounds of clinical or administratively appropriate activity, it becomes immediately clear and then we can rapidly alert compliance or security officers and provide them with a forensics platform to resolve that in just a matter of minutes. So the Pretenis solution works by essentially taking information from HR records and associated system, electronic medical records and clinical information, and weaving them together with a variety of access and machine logs. Uh, what this allows us to do is build multi-dimensional fingerprints of patient and user activity and understand in great depth what people should be doing in the electronic medical record. So when they go outside the bounds of clinical or administratively appropriate activity, we immediately know what that is and then we've got the platform to resolve those issues. Customers benefit from the technology uh, in a variety of ways. So one, they have the ability to now see into who's using their medical records appropriately or inappropriately, resolving many, many more cases uh, in much less time. And simultaneously, our solution allows them to allocate resources away from what's traditionally been a lot of busy work or a lot of manual auditing and really let compliance and security officers focus on what they're good at, which is getting to the bottom of these cases with those last few human elements that really take that, that key investigation and resolution. So um, as I mentioned, we saw privacy as a huge problem. There were a couple of other problems in uh, lab information systems, informed consent, other things that the people generally don't like to tackle. Um, but what became really compelling was this privacy protection problem. But when we first picked Pretenis as a name, we just needed something that could have encompassed any one of those possibilities, and it stuck, and we loved it, so we, we stuck with it. <laughs>